Ford has taken the wraps off a Mustang that's unlike any other. The Mach E is electric and it's called a Mustang, but guess what? It is an SUV. Prices start around $45,000. Ford says the more expensive performance models will go from zero to 60, get this, in around the same time as a Porsche 911. Elon Musk tweeted, this is interesting, his congratulations, but the Mach-E's price, performance, and technology are a clear attempt to take on Tesla. Raise the door, and we find the Tesla Model Y. This is Tesla's cheapest SUV due to begin production next year. That's right, none of these cars are made yet. Both Ford and Tesla are sensing an opportunity, though, which may see behind Door number three, consumers are increasingly choosing SUVs over saloons. We call those, though, not saloons. We call them sedans. But the high price of electric SUVs like the Jaguar I-Pace uh, have kept them out of reach for most people on a budget. Now, earlier I spoke with Ford's president, Joe Heinrichs. Uh, he told me that the Mach-E is what he believes to be a natural next step for his company. Listen. This is an extension of the brand. We're going to keep making the Mustang Sports Coupe and the convertible. I want to make sure everyone knows that. But really an extension of where we're going. Battery electric vehicles are coming. Um, SUV silhouette is really what people really want. Over half, half of Americans now are buying SUVs. So we merge those together with providing the fast, fun, and affordable nature of a Mustang with a battery electric SUV, we think really makes a lot of sense. And when you see the vehicle, you see how it comes together with those design cues for a Mustang. How many can you guys expect to roll out in the production year? I mean, if you do get the reaction that you want, is this going to be a problem actually getting them out there? Our production capacity is going to be greater than probably the battery supply. Battery supply is the big, gotcha. the big global issue here. Um, we have 50,000 for sure locked in for the first okay. uh, first year, and hopefully we'll do more than that. We'll work on that. We're obviously taking orders already online so we can get some feel for the registrations and what our reservations are going to be like. Um, but actually, the battery cells will probably be the limiting factor on how many we can build, but we're really excited about it, and so far, the demand's been really exciting to see. And in terms of the battery cell, you know, this is an issue for a lot of electric yes. car makers. When do you see that changing? Do you see that tipping point? Yeah, I think it's going to happen in the next couple of years. We're seeing a lot of capacity come into place, even here in the U.S. We're mm -hmm. starting to see um, battery cell lines going in in a number of states in the country here. So over the next three to five years, I think that will start to rest itself and, and be okay. Um, but for now, we're having to sign up to get those lines of capacity because there's so much demand for what's happening with a number of our competitors and ourselves increasing the amount of battery usage. And speaking of those competitors, you know you have them, you know they'll be coming after you. What do you think is that selling feature? Now, I, I was looking at price and range. When I say range, I yes. mean how far this could go. I mean, from uh, people who may be looking at this thinking, hey, road tripping, not so much. You're looking at 200 miles, 230, you know, about 400 kilometers. Yeah, so the base model will be a 230 mile range mm -hmm. on the U.S. kind of EPA uh, mm -hmm. cycle. But 300, we can get extended battery, 300 mile range. 300 miles gets you pretty far. And importantly, we're tapped into the largest charging network in the U.S., over 12,000 locations, over 30-some-thousand charging, actual charging stations. So. That, that's important to, for consumers to know, but you're right. Most over, we've, Our research shows over 80% of customers who drive battery electric vehicles, they do their charging at night at home. They charge it completely, then they drive it during the next day, which and that's where most of the usage is. Which is a great option, but if yeah. you have to see grandma, you have to see kids yeah. at college, what do you do? So in the, in the case of our vehicle, you, again, you access those 12,000 locations. Our Ford Pass app will show you where do you want to go, and it'll tell you can you get there, or, or here's the right charging location right. to go to. And how long will it take plan it. Well, to recharge? You can get in about if you have a if you have a um, fast charging network, you can get about 47 miles in 10 minutes. It takes pretty much eight to eight hours or so to charge the entire vehicle from all the way to zero up gotcha. to 300, but that's where most people don't need that.